What's up, Internet? We are back in Animal Crossing. I am feeling a fair bit better, which is good. And uh, we're just gonna see what we can do today. Fortunately, uh, Katrina is basically gone, which means we don't have to deal with terrible, terrible fortune telling that will make us trip and probably get struck by lightning many, 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 many times. Uh oh, my pockets are full! Wait, I think I have garbage in my pockets, so yeah, we should probably swap that. Alright, we're good. Time to go to the next town over to, you know, explore and see what's happening. Maybe there's some treasure to find. That would be nice. I'm presently waiting on a piece of equipment that my cat so callously decided to dump a bunch of water on. Um trying to dry it out and stuff, and hopefully it'll work after that, because I, I was trying to test it just to make sure it worked, it kinda did, but then it started bugging out, so if it doesn't work once it's dry, I guess we're gonna have to take it apart and hope I can fix it, because I can't really replace it. So, I've been having a stressful time of today, but otherwise, you know, it's it's been another day. On the bright side, Animal Crossing helps for relieving stress quite a fair bit mainly because it is a very, very relaxing game. And I need that in my life. I'm a very anxious person. Like, every small thing I panic about, so to have something that's at least kind of, sort of, relaxing, it's very cathartic for me. <laughs> because I don't get that a lot. So I'm just gonna try and not worry about stuff that's drying and potentially going to give me a bad shock when I try and fix it tomorrow. Instead, worry about treasure hunting and buying Halloween candy. Actually, there is something else I kind of want to do. Um, we'll, we'll see if I want to do it. I, I have to find a moment while we do this for me to actually do it, but it was something I wanted to do yesterday, but I was just feeling so crap. But... You know, I, I still have it, so I might be able to do it, but I, I thought it would be fun to do, like, a little mini segment while we did this, so we'll see. What is the weather? It's raining. That means gyroids in the future. Awesome. Because gyroids are great. They're dancing robot pals. Alright, let's get out of here and go into the Nookatorium and empty my pockets, if nothing else. The moment the door will actually let me in. I don't know why the uh, hitboxes for these doors are so weird. But either way, we will sell this and this and this. This... Uh, I should probably keep that paper. This, 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 this. Now we've got stuff in our pockets. We should probably try and get rid of it as well. Let's see what we got here. We have a gyroid that is a limantoid. We can get rid of that. Another limantoid. We can get rid of that. And a third limantoid. I think that's all the limantoids as well. I don't think there's a fourth one. So there's the entire Lamentoid family. We got them all at once. Can we get like a family bonus for them, please? Nope. No? That's okay, I guess. I only wanted one really, really badly. It's the singing TV featuring Dr. Mrs. the Monarch. I don't think that's the painting we need. No, it's a classic painting. We are looking for a specific painting and that ain't it. That's okay. So I got Halloween candy. I recently did a video reviewing some Halloween stuff. You can go watch that on my channel. Go do it too. It's it's fun times. It shows how little the Nintendo seal of quality actually means. Uh, we got the mint gingham. We have a gelato shirt, which means I can eat it despite my lactose intolerance. But it makes you look like a candy cane, and I don't like mint flavored candy canes anyway, I think they're not very good. They're better to hang on your tree than to eat, honestly. I, I really like like the, um, I'm not sure if they're strawberry or cherry, but I, I really do like those flavors of uh, candy canes. Those are really nice. I don't think I've eaten a candy cane in years, honestly. 
don't think I bought candy canes from a tree in years either. Like, again, I don't eat them, so they just kind of sit in a box and then I just put them back on a tree every year. I'm not sure that's good, though. But, I mean, if my family had candy canes that existed since before I was born, they still put them up on their tree, so, I mean, you know, I guess they're not rotting. They're, they probably have enough preservatives to outlast the Sphinx, even though they're mostly sugar. You'd think they'd probably degrade rather quickly, but I guess not. Candy canes are peculiar. I like them, though. I, I kind of wish they weren't entirely seasonal, because some of the flavors of candy canes out there, like I said, like the um, pink strawberry or cherry or whatever pink flavor is, you know, I, I think that's a very, very good flavor. Um... I think I once had a plum flavored candy cane, that was quite delicious as well. Oh, this is not the time for candy canes, obviously, this is the time for Halloween candy. You know, I've tried to buy some of like, my favorite Halloween candy of all time, but, um, you know, you just can't find the stuff that I really like. Like, I, I can think of the two best pieces of Halloween candy, and they might be like the two best pieces of candy I've ever had. Um, one was this type of gum that I had once when I was in grade three, and for some reason it was like one of the best tasting things I ever had. I think it was called like, uh, Spout Gum. I've never seen it, but I got it for Halloween once, and I only ever got two pieces, but it was like the most delicious thing I've ever put in my mouth. Um, the other thing I, I really liked, you used to be able to buy in like this bag of like just random assorted bubblegum and like lollipops and stuff. I think it was called like uh, the Tootie Blow, which was like some kind of Tootie Fruity like blow pop candy or something. But that was a really tasty candy as well, but you can't find that either. Seriously, it's, it's sad that I've found Halloween candy I actually like that isn't just like generic Mars bars or whatever. And, and granted, Mars bars are delicious. They're one of the best chocolates, I think. Even though I think Mars chocolate is a little bit low quality. Despite not being half as bad as, like, say, Hershey's or something. But, you know, I, I like some of the more interesting stuff that you can't necessarily find every day. But at the same time, the fact that you can't find it every day makes me wish you could find it more often. <laughs> but I guess that's the thing. You always sort of covet what you cannot have. And it sucks even more when you know it's actually really, really good. I'm kind of surprised how expensive bags of Halloween candy are. Like, I I went to, like, a, the local, you know, like, grocery store and buying, like, any bag of Halloween candy, it's, like, $10. Like, really? I mean, I get that there's a decent number of, like, candy in there, but still, that seems a little much. Oh, it's hard to believe that Halloween is going to be in, like, a week. That's going to be interesting. I've got one or two, like, Halloween crafts I want to do before then. Like, um, one thing I thought of, because it just sort of hit me, it's such an obvious thing, but, you know, I want to get a bunch of rubber bands and Kleenexes, because I got a bunch of lollipops, and I'm going to turn them into, like, little ghosts, just to make them a little bit more interesting and personal. Yeah, stuff like that. It's such an obvious thing, but I think it makes it all the more interesting. But uh, I also have a couple of plans for, like, Halloween streams I want to do. I'm thinking maybe about trying to do one tomorrow. It, it's weird because, like, um, like I said, I got my shot a couple days ago, and, you know, I, it just... I, I take shots really badly, so I kind of, like, slept through the entire day. So I feel like it's still Tuesday, even though it's very much Wednesday. I, I'm trying to adjust to the fact that I'm, like, just lost a day, which is a really weird uh, feeling to have. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping tomorrow to do one of my Halloween streams, because I'll be, like, marking one week until. And then the next one I'm thinking about doing either Monday or the day before Halloween. And then because I have to go help some um, family members for Halloween, because my grandmother, she's, she's, um, she just doesn't have the energy to give candy out to kids for hours on end. I'm, I'm probably going to have to, for the first and probably only time of this adventure, I'm going to have to time travel just to experience Halloween in this game. 
So, you know, it's not 100% legit, like, as, as we existed in the town as it happened, but, you know, I think that'll be a, at least a fair thing to do. Because, like, the alternative is just not to do it, and I don't want to not, like, you know, do one of these main events. I think they're really cool. I could find a peach. I don't need to go to another town, Camo Frog. I'm sure there's one in this town. There might be one in this entire acre, in fact. Um, no, there's not. Okay, fair enough. And there's oranges. Oranges always seem to be the hardest fruit to find. We should keep an eye out for coelacanths as well. I moved my water to the other side of my chair than where I normally put it. Just because I'm drying my other thing on the other side and I don't want that to get more wet. Uh. Alright, we got peaches. Not the creepy pink donkey, mind you, but the thing that we can eat that Camo Frog wanted. You know, when he asked us to bring him peaches, do you think maybe he just wanted a date with the donkey and he wanted us to set him up? I mean, I would think he'd know peaches better than we do, but here you go. A parquet floor. Alright. Pluck this. Do we have any coelacanths? Doesn't look like it. That's okay. Sort of. It's okay in the sort of it's not okay sort of thing. Oh, that's a freaking sea bass. Of course it is. Why would it not be? Alright. Come on, coelacanths. Oh, that's not a coelacanth, that's a sea bass. Copper! Are there any special events coming up? Because I know Katrina shouldn't be here anymore, which is good. Ah, oh, she's still here. Oh, right, she doesn't leave until 6 p.m., which isn't until, like, 20 minutes from now, relative to this time. That's okay, I guess. Okay, so... We can't get information about upcoming events because the current event is still going on because it takes place at a weird time. Let's catch a fish. You know, going back to talking about Halloween candy for a minute, there's, there's just some really interesting memories that stick with me for Halloween. Like, Halloween was not something I got to experience too long. I, I only got to really take part in Halloween up until like grade two or three, because my family was kind of staunchly against me taking part in it, because reasons that I still don't really know, but, you know, I remember going out and one year something really neat happened, like, uh, it was ridiculously cold, like, I'm, I'm talking like minus 10 degrees Celsius or whatever. And it was actually a nice day before it, you know, got really cold. So I guess, and, and this was just some random family. I've never, never known who they were because it was like in a different chunk of the city. But during the day, they decided to um, sprinkler their garden or, or their garden, their, their lawn. And then when it froze, the entire grass was just like this, these just like sparkling bed of spikes. And there's something really just genuinely beautiful about that. And you know, even to this day, it was a small thing that I only experienced once for maybe like 30 seconds. And yet it still sticks to me, me, someone who has no memory. That's a nice little memory I have about Halloween, honestly. I can deliver this to Chow. I mean, you were just talking to him 30 seconds ago. You can still see him, but okay. Sure. Animal Crossing's quest system is bad and broken. And sometimes that works in our favor, but mostly it doesn't. I'll take furniture. I did literally zero work. Furniture works for me. Alright. Out of the way, Chow. I'm gonna regret this. Uh, 
I'm gonna regret this. At an ice rink, a hard-working lunch special will be drinking milk. But I'm lactose intolerant. And basically this means that her entire special, like, uh, fortune reading is completely worthless. Awesome. That's the weird thing, like, half the time it's just that it's a waste of time to go and deal with her, and then like, 40% of that time it's just bad, and then like, maybe 10% of the time something good will happen. So I don't know why I bother, but I did. Yeah, this goes to Pierce, I know where he is. Get rid of this weed. I know that shirt. I designed it way back when. It's a good shirt. Also, you don't wear glasses. I'll take carpets. Actually, what they don't tell you is you have to remove all your furniture ever to get rid of or to place the carpet down. And if you don't, then it just puts the carpet over top. And then your house looks really lumpy and weird. Okay. I know where Pearl is. I can return that to her, I suppose. Maybe a little bit, but sure. That will go to Pearl, I guess. Let's see if Quetzal has a thing for us to do. That's a big, bright yellow umbrella. I don't like it, but yeah, I think yellow is a really ugly color. Yellow's like the worst color. Not a big fan of orange either. I think orange is better than yellow, but I, I still think orange is not a very good color either. I, I prefer some of like the darker colors, I guess, like blues and greens. Whereas yellow just feels inherently very bright and just kind of obnoxious. And I feel like kind of the same about orange. Although not quite as an extreme feeling. I can try to get you an insect. I mean, it's raining, but... Oh, what the hell. Maybe we can find a cockroach on a tree or something. Well, that works out well, because I'm pretty sure that's like the only bug we can catch right now. Let's go find a disgusting cockroach. Because there's got to be one in the trees somewhere. I mean, there should be. I don't know if there is or not, but we can hope there are. Uh, where can we find a bug? So the problem with accepting this quest is that, you know, I actually have to do it, and this quest is not exactly a thing that should be able to be done at this period of time. Thus, once again, proving that the quest system in this game is a little bit broken. It's not impossible, mind you, but it is kind of just unbelievably taxing to try and find a bug in the rain after about 6 p.m. Especially during this chunk of the year. Alright, that's not a big fish. Are we gonna find a big fish over here? Pretty sure that's a sea bass, but we got the space, so we might as well catch it. Just for something to do. Hey! Got ourselves a bard knife job. Not bad. But, we still have to find a bug. That's the big problem. I mean, at least in later Animal Crossing games, you could manage to catch bugs that are just on animals because, like, fleas exist. Unfortunately, not so much in this game. This game, it's literally in this situation, you have to find cockroaches on trees and hope they aren't scared by the rain, which sometimes happens. But hopefully we will find something. Not 
really sure where to look specifically because it could theoretically be any tree. I mean, this game's weird spawning system. There are places that are probably more likely for it to spawn, but even so, in the rain, like even tree based spawns are kind of rare, and cockroaches are pretty rare to spawn on trees usually anyway. Even if there's no other alternative, the game would rather spawn nothing than to spawn a cockroach. Are they gonna hate each other afterwards? No, they like each other's grumpiness. And we'll get something free out of this shared love of grump. Nope. Well, at least they enjoyed each other's company. That's an important thing too, I guess. I really wanted a free thing. Guess we'll go down here and look for coelacanths again while we're wasting time looking for cockroaches. Or at least try and look for coelacanths. Not really anything around here. Come on. No. This fish is being tricky. Missing pretty hard. Sea bass. Oh, hard night job. That's actually a pleasant surprise. I'll accept that. Still no luck finding ourselves a bug, but I'll take a hard night job. Okay, that one. That just feels like a sea bass. Snapper. I'm off my A game today, it seems. That's okay, though. Being wrong about that does not hurt my feelings any. That said, I'm pretty sure our inventory's full, so we should probably run off to nooks. Clear out our pockets. Make a few bells. Maybe we'll find a cockroach along the way. Don't have a lot of options when it comes to bugs with this current situation. Short of going to our hometown then coming back, I guess, but I don't really want to do that. Mainly because that would be a big waste of time. Alright, so that, so that, so that, 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 that. I don't know what a trendy top looks like, so I'm gonna keep that just to see. Out of curiosity. How trendy this top really is. I look like a melon. Hmm. I don't know where we even got that shirt, but uh, we got it. And now it's going to get something to Alright. Off to continue looking for bugs in the rain where there usually isn't any. Oh, this is a fool's errand. At least we're making some bells, so I guess. Small victories. I feel like I saw a cockroach when we entered, but I scared it off. Well, it looks like I didn't. I can't play back. Come on, fishy fish. Sea bass. Oh, snapper. Those snappers were kind of vaguely smaller than sea bass. Whereas knife jaws were a little bigger. But given these size variants of sea bass, they're a little hard to tell. I feel like that's a sea bass, but we've got tons of inventory space. Not that it matters any. Anything around here? Let's catch this guy. Come on. Come on, Mr. Fishy Fish. A 
Okay, that fish looks smaller than the shadow. Like, even when you pulled it out, the shadow looked bigger than the fish that was coming out of it. I'm calling shenanigans on that. Hey, Peaches, what are you doing down here? You're never down here. Maybe she's visiting her new best friend, Camel Frog. I totally set him up with her. Like he asked, thus validating my point from earlier. That might be a knife jaw. I think that's a sea bass. Of that size. Guess we'll never know though. I got a little antsy on the draw. That's on me. This one's probably a sea bass, but let's find out. Or not. Ugh. I'm not a patient person. Patience is not a virtue that I possess. Again, that looks like a much smaller fish than the shadow projects. I don't know why it does that. I guess that's just further proving that it's got a weird size variance. I don't think we're gonna find a bug. That's a pretty big fish. Probably a barbell steed, I'm thinking. Well, it could be a bass of some kind. Or a carp, perhaps. No, get over here, Mr. Fish. I didn't mean to scare you away like that. And I did it again. Well, I'm not gonna wait around. Like I said, I'm impatient. I think Cookie wanted me to turn something into Pearl, but I can talk to her about other stuff. I am too cool for an umbrella, thank you. <laughs> uh, I do very much appreciate that they actually planned for someone not to have an umbrella when they posed that question. That might be exclusive to that point, though. Mm, well, I have, but... Yes, I bought those two things and then connected them using a cable I also had to buy. And then it was a big waste of time, except that I got Wario's Woods out of it, which mostly would disappoint most people. I don't know why, but a lot of people dislike Wario's Woods, like, especially the NES version. I heard the Super Nintendo version's the one to get, but, like, the Super Nintendo version of a lot of, like, NES puzzle games is supposed to be pretty good, like, the, uh, SNES Yoshi's Cookie's supposed to be ridiculously good. As well as um, Dr. Mario, but Dr. Mario was part of a combo pack. Nothing down there. Still no insectoids to find. I feel like bugs would spawn on this acre quite often, but that's mostly because of the flowers. Oh, you know what I could do, and I am dumb for not thinking about this. Although the rain might stop this all the same, so it might be worth trying. I'm not sure if the rain will supersede this, but this might give us bugs. All we have to do is go somewhere where we can enter a house and exit a house. Drop that. Go into this amazing house. to leave and come back a few times because it's not guaranteed it would have helped if I bought more candy but at the same time I didn't want to 
I'll try twice more just because, again, I'm not sure the rain might prevent this entirely. That is one thing that would be kind of a nice little advantage for something like this. You know, if you don't touch furniture for a while, you get cockroaches in your house, but you can't catch them either. Yeah, looks like that's a no-go. That's okay, though. Oh, what'd that say? Yeah, the, there's truth to this. There's actually trouble if you screw up on Halloween here. There's very much tricks to be had. So you better have treats. But you should know who to give them to, because if you don't give them to the right people, bad things still happen to you. It's a complicated little event. Kind of. At least comparatively. That's a decent sized fish, that might be a knife jaw. Ah, uh, but of course it isn't. It's a good old sea bass. around here. Another sea bass. How much space do we have? Not a ton. I was thinking we could run inside and maybe the weather would change if we didn't get caught outside during the hour change, but that doesn't matter. I've been outside on a perfectly nice day, and I've seen it, like, slowly start to rain, so it won't matter. In fact, the music hasn't changed. It's a good indicator that it's still going to rain, and it's not going to let up. I can't fish for that fish over here. That's okay. Come on, Mr. Fish. Yeah, friendly, nice Mr. Fish. Yeah, it's a red snapper. Mm. Alright, what the hell. Um, I got a few moments and, you know, it's not like we're finding any cockroaches anytime soon. So, uh, yesterday, I was going to have dinner, like I sometimes do, except, um, you know, the weather was super, super bad, so we actually ended up going out to uh, Subway. Lovely place, not a sponsor. Although, if they want to send me free stuff, I wouldn't say no. Although, I'd appreciate if they went back to using slightly less spicy pepperoni, because that does not agree with me. Anyway, the lovely attendee there gave me a couple free cookies. And uh, I think these are seasonal. And as a critical person, I thought I would critique one of these cookies, because I'm actually kind of interested in this. Because this is a pink lemonade, like, raspberry cookie. It's, it's the weirdest thing ever. It sounded interesting, so I, I figured, why not try it? I don't normally like fruit in my desserts. If I want to eat fruit, I'll just eat fruit, but I thought this could be interesting. So, you know, for the next few minutes, I'm going to try a mini review of this cookie because I thought that'd be kind of fun. Uh, anyway, I will paint a word picture with my mouse for a moment and uh, just sort of give you a, a overall visual interpretation of what this looks like. It's a very chunky cookie, like it looks like it has some uh, white chocolate or something underneath it. That, that could be nuts, maybe. Uh, it's a very pale cookie as well. It's, it's very, very white. It's uh, a lot lighter than, say, your typical chocolate chip. It also happens to feature little splotches of, I guess, raspberry jam or something. Although they almost look like sort of like pink chocolate chips or something. It also has like this nice little thin layer of, I'm not sure if that is uh, sugar or sea salt. That is in fact sugar, in fact it's flavored sugar. That tastes like pink lemonade that dusts the cover, cover up the, the surface of the cookie. But, um, hmm. Anyway, that, that's a little bit of uh, sugar on top. Let's take a bite and see what this is all about. Oh, wow. I'm only gonna take one bite of that, but that is good. Like, that initial bite hits you really fast with that, like, lemonade flavor. And then there's, like, a little bit of raspberry on the back, and it's not overpowering or anything. The cookie itself is um, pretty dull. It tastes like your standard shortbread, but... 
that lemonade taste on that cookie is actually not too bad. I was actually particularly interested because it sounds like such a strange cookie. And the, the actual cookie itself is not that great, but you know, the way they kind of infused a lemonade flavor to it is very interesting. I think instead of going for your standard sugar, pre sugar bread, your standard shortbread or sugar cookie style, uh, if they'd used like a different base for the cookie, that might have been more advantageous. Because it, it just feels like it's there and it's not really complementing the lemonadiness or the blue raspberryness. Blue raspberry, the raspberryness. Why is raspberry typically blue and stuff? I'll never understand that. But I was interested in this, specifically this flavor, because um, when I was in elementary school, when you were in grade six, two points during the year, the end of the year and the halfway point in the year, there's like a sixth grade run carnival. Only sixth graders got to go to it and it was run entirely by the sixth graders. Everyone had to have, like, have a booth. And there's like sixth grade carnival fun money that you got, and uh, it didn't carry over from one to the next, so you kind of had to spend it all by the end. Um, I was just ran a booth where I got like a jar of jelly beans, people had to count how many were in it, and then they got the jar at the end. The janitor won both times, he, he was a very smart janitor. But um, I always ended up making a lot of like uh, sixth grade uh, carnival fun bucks and uh, by the end of it you have to spend it all just because it doesn't carry over so what I would do is because like three quarters of the um, events were always like just people like selling baked goods or whatever I would just end up walking around buying like all the snacks and stuff and I remember one time uh, one of the things I bought was a root beer cookie, and what, all I remember was it looked kind of like a snickerdoodle, but with like a thin layer of icing over top of it. it. It genuinely tasted like root beer. It was the most peculiar thing I'd ever had. I have no idea how you make something like that. If anyone has like recipes for root beer cookies, let me know. I, I mean, I can't bake to save my life, but I'd like to know how people do that. But I figured this would be kind of sort of like that, at least in terms of intensity, and it's not. It's 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 overpowered by the sort of batteriness of the cookie itself, as opposed to that complementing the sort of lemonade raspberryness of the actual flavor of the cookie. But it's um, not a bad cookie. Maybe not great, but not bad. I'm doing all right. Trying to recover from a little bit of sickness and, you know, getting a flu shot, but otherwise I'm doing okay. How are you doing? Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Well, it's what I do. Alright, what do we got? I'll take this. I should take this. my family while we were out getting some subs because uh, I had to pick it up with a family member uh, my mom went with me and she got free cookies as well she got some uh, caramel apple cookies that sounded equally delightful but uh, I'm gonna have to ask them what that was like because that did sound quite good I, I went for the slightly wackier flavor of course but uh, you know with that it's not a bad cookie I, I don't normally like like uh, subway cookies either like chocolate chip I I know it's heresy to say this I don't really like chocolate chip cookies all that much and the thing is the cookie itself is great I think the actual flavor of a chocolate chip cookie is like a very subtle and complex flavor but I think chocolate ruins it and I that's 
it's such an awful thing to say because I love chocolate, but really chocolate is such an intense flavor that it kind of destroys just how delightfully complex the concept of like a chocolate chip cookie actually is. Seriously, someday when you're making chocolate chip cookies, just take a little bit of that batter, make just make a cookie without chocolate chips. Trust me, it's it's definitely an interesting flavor because it's sweet and it's buttery, but there's also like a more both simplistic and grand taste to it. Really hard to explain, but it, I think it's a lot better than adding chocolate chips to a chocolate chip cookie. But, uh, you know, they also have like those like rainbow cookies that have like the M&Ms in them, and I don't get why people would ever buy those. But uh, this is definitely an interesting cookie. Raspberry lemonade. I like it, but I, I definitely think it would have benefited from a different tasting batter. Actually, ironically, if they used like a chocolate chip batter, again, minus the chocolate chips, I think it would have worked a little bit better. Because this is more of like a shortbread sugar cookie thing. It feels a little bit more focused on the sweet. Whereas, like I said, with uh, chocolate chips, uh, the chocolate chips themselves are what supply the sweetness to it. So the actual cookie gets to be a little bit more complex. I can run on the ants without scaring them off. That's kind of interesting. I'm gonna drop all that. Yes, please. I'm going to go down here. I gotta go find Pearl. Maybe we'll find Wisp and he'll ask us to do a thing and maybe we'll actually be able to help him this time. That'd be kind of nice. There's good old Lady Pearl. I want you to have this. You've left your entire house over there. In fact, I think you've left several houses over there. Not even a thousand bells. Ugh. Not even worth my time, Pearl. Alright, well, let's see if there's any special visitors coming to town here, because we can. Crazy Red, yay! That'll be October 25th, that will be two days from now. Ah, and Wisp is around. I don't know where this way is, Wisp. There he is. You know the weird thing about Wisp's intro music is that it doesn't follow a town tune at all. The Gooch? Wasn't it Mr. Cheesy Pants last time? Does he just have like a list of supervisors from another world to scare us with? Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. What have we around here? Found a cockroach. <laughs> Not that it does us any good now. Uh, of course it rains when we're trying to catch bugs. Why can anything actually be easy for us? One. Mm. It's like we almost don't live in a world where cats knock over water onto expensive equipment that we can't replace. Nope, nope, trying to get that out of my head. Ah, that was the clip I saw through the tree. Okay, well we've covered this area pretty thoroughly. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. What about up here? The problem with trying to catch them around here is that this could very well destroy our flowers. One. Throw that out. Not seeing anything around here. 
There's something we can dig up, though. Got ourselves a fossil. That we can take to the post office before we're done here tonight. Doesn't look like Gulliver's around, not that that's terribly surprising. There's the ball. But it's cursed. We need to dunk it into the ocean before it curses us with its cursiness. Here. Uh, there's one. Three. I think they like to congregate near water. Like, for some reason, they're just programmed to be more likely near water than anywhere else. We didn't plant those flowers, did we? Hmm. Doesn't look like it's around here. Well, that's okay. I guess. I mean, it would be better if it was somewhere where I can catch it, but, you know. I can't exactly control that. As much as I wish I could. Okay. Where is the ghosties? these ghost houses thinking it's where they live I don't know where the ghosts are it's spooky and there's a cockroach to a situation where one of the things isn't going to spawn again, aren't we? Hey, glowy spot. Yes. Please. I'll take 3,000 bells. Actually, since we're here, might as well take care of this. Phyllis. First, I'd like to make a deposit. Whoopsie. Alright. I'd also like to mail some letters. Like this one. And like this one. And like this one. And also finally this one. So we've covered almost every square of this map, but we're still missing two. Not ideal. But that will not deter us. There's one. So that just leaves one more we need. Hmm. I don't think there can be more than one per area. I think that's a rule. So the question is, where's the last spirit? 
Again, this is where, like, getting some sort of hint or, like, a radar or anything would be useful. At the very least, we could narrow it down where to go. I'm not seeing too much of an indicator as to where the spirit could be. Which is frustrating. It's not an end of the world thing, of course, but it's still frustrating. Especially because they can spawn out, like, over top of the ocean, and you'll, like, just never see them. Nothing there. There. Hmm. Are you sure you can't give me some advice on this voice? Okay, fine. Well, I think it's safe to say it's not in this quarter of the village. See a bug. It flew away. I was not very respectful to that bug, and I apologize. Nothing there. Hmm. Come on. is where where oh where could this last spirit be ah oh, the ball respawned not that that really matters right now or ever stupid ball There's just some sort of like audio indicator or something maybe. That would be pretty useful. I mean it wouldn't be hard. Doesn't look like it's back here. I can think of maybe one or two areas we haven't checked. Like this corner. I'm really hoping we can find this last thing. I kind of hate that we didn't do it last time. I had to give up. It was kind of sad. Especially considering we had to give up something new and unique that's not in our collection yet. Cube's house. It should be somewhere, but so far it looks like it's nowhere. Just remember not to give up again. I don't want to do that because I'm not someone who does that. 
unless I get really wildly impatient, like I do. I can release them. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna help us any, but it's a thing we could do. I kinda wonder if, you know, they can spawn in the same place with bugs. Of course, there can only be, with the exception of the red dragonfly and fireflies, only one bug on screen at a time. Ergo, does that mean there can be no spirits alongside them? Therefore, we only have to go to a place where a spirit refuses to spawn, or a bug, rather. Hmm. up on the platform? That doesn't look like it. I kind of wonder if we were to take a trip via train to a part of the world that has in a different time zone, i.e. my other town, would the spirits disappear that way? I don't know how that would work in this game. Hmm. So I've been wandering around for about 15 minutes. I'm running out of patience and time. I've got stuff to do still. Is there anything around here? Anything at all? Doesn't look like it. It'd be nice if there was like a way to like lure them into specific places as well. Like, similarly to using candy to lure ants around. Well, lure. It causes them to spawn, but still. I fear that we might have to give up. Yet again. We are no longer the expert ghost hunters we once thought we were. That would be sad. Same time, I'm not exactly finding places where they could be. And we've almost looped around the town again. Yeah, I fear we're just gonna have to call this ghost hunt off again. I kind of wonder if, like the rocks, they kind of cycle through locations and, like, until you find them, they won't move until they they are found for the next time. Well, we can't do anything about these, so I'm just gonna... Goodbye! 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 I appreciate that they ascend. Makes me feel like that was probably the right thing to do, aside from the fact that we won't get the prize. Anyway, I think that'll be it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we do this every night, plus other stuff when I have the time. Might be doing something Halloween related tomorrow, if not Monday at the latest. You might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, which is a lot of stuff. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can so that I can do what I do to the best of my abilities, which in this case is still be really, really shit at finding ghosts and also reviewing things such as delicious weird cookies. It was actually really good. I'm gonna have to finish this cookie once I'm done this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.